It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, this yeah. is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. It's on you. All right. So, yeah. Glorilla just dropped. Mm-hmm. And I can't lie. The album pretty fire, man. Glorilla. Yeah, it is. It's fire. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I uh, saw a video on Facebook of some guy. He was uh, driving down the road, and he had passed two cars, and both of the cars was playing Glorilla album. That's a fact. And both of the cars was dudes. That's a fact. Glorilla got a chokehold on us. She been had a chokehold on me. <laughs> she can put me in the triangle anytime. God, dog. But no, no, no. She uh, Her album is actually really good for a girl, and for a girl that talk about what she talk about. Like, yeah. A lot, a, of, a lot of people also saying a, a Lotto album is really good, which I didn't hear her album this year, but I heard her album like uh, a year or two ago, mm -hmm. and it was it was a decent album. I pulled some songs from it that I enjoyed, but yeah, yeah. this Glorilla album, you, I, I really feel like you can push play on it and go from start to finish. That's what I did. Yeah. I'm dead serious. Yeah, same. I'm dead serious. Same, Drew. same. But yeah. Um. So anyway, the song was Sexy Red. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Did you and, see the video? Yeah. How was the video? 10 out of 10. I, I need that same intense on that fire trail. Fire! <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, first of all, <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like if Glorilla and Sexy Red just got together and, you know, just started doing stuff together. Yeah. They would be Ooh. who the city girls thought that they were supposed to be. Trail. And I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean that as a compliment to Sexy Red and Glorilla. Talk to me. Trail. If Glorilla and Sexy Rare, whether they form a group or not, or just do three combined albums, mm -hmm. will that be the equivalent to the female outcast? It would be as close as you could get to it. That's what I think. It would be as close as you can get to it. I think if them two link up and do an album trail, yeah. I think Fly! <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the biggest women's album collab yeah yeah collab album of all time i can and see I, I, i'm just thinking about that now yeah 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 because they both got their own fan base that's a, that's a fact they both got their own fan base yeah, and both of them are beautiful <laughs> hey you stupid <laughs> good i'm not i don't okay glorilla she is creative with the song ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, really got bars. Mm -hmm. Sexy Red is that ratchet, but it's that sexy ratchet that people just draw to. That's you know a what fact. I'm saying? So That's it's like if they were to come together for an album, mm -hmm. I think it would be like Outkast or the equivalent to uh, Wayne like a female and Drake version. Album. Yeah, yeah, yeah female the female version, version yeah. of what, what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I, I think that, I yeah for for one because I and I, I you know I don't know if it's what Yo Gotti did or if he just put the proper team around her, but the growth from what she was when she first came out to what yeah. she is now is a tremendous difference. That's a fact, and it's a tremendous improvement. That's a fact, and I, I'm just like yo. They did what was supposed to be done for her. Artist development is not a thing today like it used to be. That's a fact. But she definitely had artist development, and it's she phenomenal. Because ain't no way. Yeah. If she if she made that leap on her own, that's trip. Yo, uh, impressive. Mind blowing. Yeah, that's mind blowing. Um, Cause in my opinion, like she would drop songs, and the songs wouldn't be bad. But in my opinion, she would sound too much like a dude. Too much like there's too much bass in there. And they with this album, they let her just raw authentically be herself. Fire. And it came out exactly how it was how it was supposed to come out. So she she had dropped the same day as Raw Wave. Mm -hmm. Did you hear the Raw Wave? I heard like two songs from it. I didn't hear the whole thing. So you heard two songs and you quit listening, or you just randomly I randomly heard two songs, but it didn't make because I kept saying that I'm going to listen to it. I yeah. just never heard anything that made me run to it. Like I heard things that made me go to Glor Glorilla's album, Glorilla, Ferrari so, Wave. I do think Federal Nightmares was good, but it didn't make me want to say I'm gonna go check out the whole album. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, Raw Wave, right now, mm -hmm. second favorite artist. Okay. I think everybody need to put more respect on Raw Wave. Okay. Who's your first before we? Uh, Dirt. Okay. Right now, I got Lil Wayne. He's at in, on a different yeah, yeah, category, but I right understand. now, Dirt, Dirt first, then Raw Wave. Then gotcha. after that, 
probably two C, but then four through five is probably five or six gotcha. different people. But anyway, okay, okay. Yeah, I got Raw Wave. Um, I do think people need to put more respect on Raw Wave name. I think whenever you talk about the best artists in the game right now, you have to put Raw Wave's name in that conversation. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. With that being said, mm-hmm. Raw Wave, I call you a goat. His album, I was disappointed. Mm. Beautiful mind and uh first of all, beautiful mind on a scale from one to ten, 10? to thirty. Dang. I wanna say uh nostalgia, yeah. one to ten, it's twenty. Okay. I wanna say the uh see I don't even know the name of it. The one he had just, just dropped. Yeah. yeah. One to ten. I don't even know either. I gave it probably a six point five. Dang. But uh yeah. Um I only brought that up to say both of them dropped on the same day. Raw Wave, you the goat. And? Glow, 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 really. Glow, really killed them. Mm. She killed them. I ain't even going to lie to it, dog. I respect it. I respect that big time. At Damn. least you can admit to it. Some people will be biased. Nah, she, she, she. Yeah, she, really she did. did thing, Start man. to finish. Like, I pushed play on the album, and every time we went to the next song, I was surprised that I liked it. That's a fact. I was like. I I think by the time I got midway through the album, I was like, ain't no way y'all about to tell me Glorilla just dropped the album of the year. Ain't no way y'all about to tell I, me. That. I wanted to ask you you, you, you <laughs> that because if you ask me, now granted, I don't. You don't keep up, but. Yeah, I don't know. keep up with, with people drafting, uh, dropping. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Lotto, I would never listen to her. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, man, from what I've heard, mm-hmm. 2024. Yeah. Glorilla got it. So far for me too, yeah. But like you said, I uh, I was when you know when when Kyle was a part of Hard Pass, we would keep up Ooh. and stuff like that. Uh, Kyle Keeley. Uh, some people call him Kyle's with a K. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, when he was a part of this, we would keep up with the albums and stuff. And yeah, uh, this this year I haven't as much. But you talking about the guy that said I made him feel like an employee. Yeah. That's who you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, you should have said, said that. Oh, say, okay. My next fault. time, say employee, Kyle. Okay. But go ahead. Don't. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, this year, Glorilla got it hands down in comparison to anybody else. I, I agree. I agree. Shout out to Big Glow, man. Yeah, she did her thing on it. Is she the next coming of uh, Nicki Minaj? She's not. I, no. I couldn't <laughs> yeah. even say that without laughing. <laughs> I think she really in her own lane though. Like uh, it's a it's a totally different lane from that of what Lil Kim, Foxy Brown, Nicki Minaj did. That's a fact. That's a fact. She seemed cool too though. Mm-hmm. She's so beautiful and, and yeah, you stupid. Whenever I veer her stuff, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Big Glow, man. Yeah. Hey, I said it months ago. You Quote did. me on it. You did. I said, uh, Memphis. Mm-hmm. They might be on top of the rap game right now. Mm-hmm. Matter yeah. of fact, let 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 let's clip that up. Mm-hmm. Ask America, America. I think Memphis might be on top of music right now. Mm-hmm. It was. I want to say last year or the year prior. It was probably Chicago. Yeah, yeah. It, a few years ago, it was definitely Chicago. I think it's it, it's Memphis now, mm-hmm. and I do think that uh, Glorilla is leading the charge. For sure, and then uh, Especially Big Boogie, that. he had get get a twenty million dollar scholarship by the way. <laughs> Shout out to Big Boogie, man. Go ahead, though. But yeah, I I agree. I agree. They uh, they they do anything up there. That's a fact. That's a fact. Why would you turn that down? What now? A twenty million dollar scholarship. He probably saw forty million in rap travel. I don't know. <laughs> right. He was smiling while he was saying that. <laughs> Shout out to uh Big Book and yeah. DJ Drama. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right. Uh yes, yeah, man. Uh drop down in the comments. Let us know who y'all think got the best album of the year so far. Let us know what y'all think about Big Glow's album, uh Glorious. And yeah. uh Am I wrong for thinking that if Sexy Red, if Sexy Red and Glorilla did an album together, I think it would be who we thought the City Girls was supposed to be. That they'd be bigger. They'd be the biggest. No, no, I, I'm all agreeing. All yeah, 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 no, dude, I, I'm agreeing with you. I don't think the City Girls ceiling was that high. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They ceiling is up there. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, let us know what y'all think. And we'll see y'all next time. Big is the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs>